plant nursery in Lotto. This is the only place I've found. Oh, I found the Shropshire prune. Damson, Shropshire prune. Damson. How much is the price of this? Let's check. Damson, 35 pound. St. Julian A. They really go with. I wonder if I can get to a lot of it. Okay, over the Easter holiday, uh, I went to Ludlow, Shropshire. That is the, at the Welsh border, uh, west of the Birmingham. Um, Ludlow Plant Centre provides very good. Uh, trees and uh, I bought previously from them and this time I went and bought uh, another um, damson or prune called Shropshire prune it's uh, on a rootstock pixie which is quite smaller than the bigger St. Julian A and others and uh, it's in a 12 litre container I bought it for £34.99, almost 35 And uh, this is the plum of the damsons. The best plum, best damson you can find. If you let it really ripen on the tree, you can eat it like a plum. It's delicious, as they say. And uh, yeah, I have already one of these. And uh, I bought another one. And trees for life. Just reminds me of the fruits for life uh, video channel, YouTube channel. Probably the name comes from here. Who knows? And uh, I noticed that when you go to Ludlow, always when you get to the market, to plant centers and other places, especially in the market, you get quality uh, goods. I bought a watch there and it lasted many years for me. And it was not mo nothing more than seven pounds. Uh, so when that watch eventually ran, ran out of battery after many years, I went and bought another watch from Lotto again. Interestingly, if you go probably in one of these southern England markets. Most of the times you may end up being ripped off, being tricked by cowboy traders. I did it once, changed the battery of the watch. <laughs> Immediately it stopped working after I walked out of the repair shop. It was not one of these, uh, it was an old gentleman. And uh, he was very rude with other customers also. And uh, yeah, it seems in the south a little bit uh, attitudes are different. In the north, they know that they have to do business with the locals. They are more honest, they are more relaxed. So uh, you get good value for your money. What you buy actually will do what you intend. That's what that's what about it good about Ludlow and places like that in the, uh, in the rural and suburban and small town England. So I'm going now to plant this Shropshire Damson or Shropshire Prune and this will be my second Shropshire Prune. The other one I have I bought it from the Blackmore Nursery. Shape-wise, it's a little bit inferior to this. This is a better specimen. And uh, we will see how they will do. For planting this, I removed a blueberry chandler, which I bought from the Keeper's Nursery. Very good uh, 
blueberry, but I need this space. I have another specimen of that blueberry here. It gives a, one of the largest blueberries you can ever find. Uh, so I use this space for planting this uh, Shropshire prune. And uh, probably next year, who knows, that also can be transplanted somewhere better. But at the moment, I keep, I keep it here in 2015, April. So I'm not going to plant this uh, Shropshire prune. Okay, I've uh, teased out the roots a little bit. It was not pot bound, it was just rootlets, small rootlets. So it is the right time to plant this. That's what I expect from a lot of trader. They are good, honest people. And I put uh, some manure, I dug about 40 centimeter, then filled it half with the manure, then I planted the tree there. Now I cover around it, put in some of these weeds also, just uh, to give it moisture during the summer. Okay, I planted a tree, the structure the prune, and uh, okay, it's all right. But I want to also put some uh, weed uh, killer, organic weed killer, and that is to put a cardboard around the tree and cover it with some manure, something heavy. Manure is heavy and it also provides with nutrients. Damson, uh, belt from Blackmore Nursery, is a two year old uh, bush. Um, what can I say about Shropshire Damson? It's the best uh, of the damsons. Uh, when it is ripe, it's really sweet. We used to have it in Shropshire, and uh, yeah, now we have it here. I'm waiting, to looking forward. I'm looking forward for seeing a crop of this from this tree, and uh, it looks healthy. Blackmore Nursery usually delivers the good-sized trees, and last year when I bought uh, some trees from them, around 15 or 20 trees. 70% of them bear fruit in the first year. That's a good record. And from other nurseries about also similar numbers of trees. But unfortunately only 50% of them gave fruit in the first year. They say usually thin the fruits or remove them. I didn't bother with that. I just wanted to enjoy it. And 50% uh, yeah, from other nurseries and this 70% uh, from this particular nursery. So, good record. These are the fruit pods in the Shropshire Damson. Kind of plum. Small, but very tasty. The tree is from the Ludlow Plant Center and it's in uh, second year. And I think it's this year it will give more plum damsons. Probably about uh, even a kilo. Who knows? You'll see. This is Shropshire Damson. Shropshire Damson is a, a, they call it plum of damsons. Damson is from the, probably the Syrian city of Damascus. Uh, yeah. And uh, like anything good from Middle East, this is also one of the best 
I'm saying that this is one of the best, uh, uh, yeah, one of the best uh, tasting plums I've ever seen. Quite a small, but very tasty when it is ripe. And it's now in blossom. I have two of these. This one is here, the other one. This one is from the Blackmore Nursery, and the other one is uh, I bought it from the Ludlow in the Shropshire itself. Shropshire Damson. One of the most beautiful, shapely trees I've ever seen. It's beautiful. The shape of the branches, everything is so nice. But at the same time, it gives beautiful, abundant flowers. And you see, they're gradually opening. One is already open there. So Shropshire Damson will put a beautiful display this year. This is the first one of the two trees of Shropshire Damson we have. This is the second Shropshire Damson that we have. And as you see, it's a little bit behind the other one in the sense that, oh no, this is the same. We have one flower opened here. This is exactly the same stage they are together. But look at the shape of the tree, beautiful. Very well organized. These are the trees which are not really, you know, modified genetically or hybrid or anything. They are naturally grown. It's a very ancient variety. They say Damson is uh, from Damascus in Syria, where the unfortunately Western countries send all these Muslim troublemakers to there just to do the terrorist acts on the Syrian people and the Syrian Arab Republic and the Syrian Arab army is fighting them with the help of the Russians and the Persians and the Lebanese. And uh, if they think that's probably is good if they do it there, not doing it here, these Muslim extremist converts. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the case because they come and do it here also. So we are now seeing the chicks are coming to hatch. That's home. Anyway, I see a dried damson here from last year. Beautiful tree from Syria. Damson it's from Damascus, probably. Today is the 1st of the August 2015. This is a video about the uh, uh, damson or prune variety or plum variety Shropshire. It's called Shropshire Damson. This is the plum of the damsons, as, as they say. I have bought this plant from the Blackmore Nursery. I have another one from the uh, Ludlow Plant Center. This is the first year I planted it. It gave a small crop, a few. And uh, they're not changing color, they were green. This, they're very small, quite a small. The size of my thumb, you can see the pointy finger. And uh, you see that they're not very bigger than a normal nail, probably double the size of a nail, depending on your, of course, your nail size. And as you see, they are now at this condition. Uh, I'm looking forward for this. This is the first year this uh, tree is giving some crop, and we will see how it will do. And the leaves are quite small compared also to other plums or damsons. So, but the tree is healthy, looking healthy, giving some growth this year. These are the new year, this this year's growth. I planted in the, I think, uh, January or February 2015, or even December probably, I don't really remember. I have to look in my notes. And uh, as you see, it's doing well. Uh, it looks a bit shriveled because of the lack of water, but they're very quite hardy actually. So they may give us a good, decent crop, as you see. In the first year, I'm impressed. He gave me these damsons, Shropshire damson. And uh, next year, God willing, it will give us This is Shropshire Damson. Uh, some part of it label is broken. And uh, I want to find a nice one which is ripe. Usually the top ones are better. Mm. 
<laughs> anyway, I harvested this one. Tiny compared to Meriwether, but about two thirds of it. And this one is yet a little bit acidic, not as sweet as that one, but it's pleasant. I'm going to taste this one also, just to see. Mmm, mmm. This one is better. The tree is about three meters. The damson Shropshire damson, it seems it's ready. I pressed one of them, it looked as if it was ready to harvest. It looks softish, kind of. Now I'm going to harvest one just to see how it tastes. Yeah, it's not bad, it's plummy, but it has that bitterness yet in it, so it it's better to keep it a little bit more on the tree. I will water it then, probably next week, I will harvest them. Nothing is more beautiful than the blue color of these structure damsons. Mm -mm. Let me focus on one of these. Today is the 18th of August, and Shropshire dance on, on this tree. There's plenty, and we have another tree also, so uh, probably in one week we'll be, they will be ready. I'm tasting one of these, actually. Mmm, relatively sweet. Mmm, mm. I think it's a time to harvest them. Slightly acidic, but it's better to harvest them before chickens have them. Or they get too soft and uh, they will not survive like that. So I will har harvest them probably this weekend. Today is the 20th of August. And now we have a uh, Shropshire damson ready. They're getting soft, they're sweet. It's the earliest I've ever seen the Shropshire damson be ready. So let's just start and harvest. Let's pick a punnet and start harvesting. It's best. Yeah, start on the front branch. It's really way right back and you won't drop them. You start in the long. Like Is I it better, huh? Off. Yeah. <clears throat> the hens are here. They're after the windfall, look. That's Don't the know. most natural environment. Aye. So, you have to be careful nothing falls. Or if anything falls, they will eat it. That's they the... Do. 
Shall we show them? Show them? Oh, oh, they're there's falling. one, there's one. Look, off you go, off you go. <laughs> Let me give it to them. <laughs> oh, there we are, my goodness. <laughs> the Lux Shop show them, so. Wait, someone That's else will be show. coming now. They'll all be here. <laughs> oh, there's a case another one. I haven't seen that one, I'll pick it up. Let's take two. Before that. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody's seen this one. Let's see what she does. No, there you she have is. <laughs> the Lux Shop show them, so. They love them. Don't you, eh? You know. You know when we... <laughs> when is the harvest time? They follow us. Oh God, we have just harvested a one and a half branch and one ponnet is already getting full. Really? Although we have given some to chickens. We have two oh, trees. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This oh, is like... there's another one falling. I think they will get it. Let the... they... Oh, let's I leave them. This yeah, just leave it. This is their share. Well, come in. Wait a minute. That one's just... Ah, oh, there's somebody else now. Here they come. Yes, it's got, it's got, and it's... I know, these soft ones are their share. Sure. I give the soft away. ones to them. Are you anything that's a bit, not mouldy, but soft or overripe? Mm -hmm. We just leave it for them and they'll eat it. Yeah. Oops. Sometimes my hand gets too full. I think we're being surrounded now. Yeah. There's more behind us. Anyway, that's the natural diet for the... Is, yeah. So this one is not full. Yeah, one ponnet. Yeah. Don't make it too much no, no, because no, we're going to no. carry it. So this is one ponnet and from uh, two branches. Mm -hmm. I can't reach the top. I will. I will help you with that. Shropshire damsel. Damsel prune. Okay. Yeah, there is the camera. They're very good at our sight for these birds. Very good at distinguishing colours. Yeah, they know what is edible. Mm, yeah. She loves her plums. Okay, I will show you when we have harvested all of this because I need my hands. Oh. Okay, oh, we have done a few and yet we have several ponnets filled and yet the tree is not finished. No, it's not finished. Sula of promise. Not only that, but the hens have. And the hens are all over us, exactly eating the well, a poultry. Poultry fallen fruit. Okay, we have harvested one tree, and uh, two full punnet, two, one big punnet, which can be called one punnet, two punnets this size, so four punnet. This is another punnet you can call it, and that is five punnet. This is one tree. We have another tree which we have to go and harvest it now. This is the second Shropshire damson tree and now we are going to harvest whatever is here and the chickens as usual, you may hear them, they are following us everywhere We are so impatient to harvest everything. <laughs> uh, we have lots of also other things to harvest. It takes time, everything. Uh, I dropped the wilted feather on this one. Yeah, wilted ones for the chickens. And chickens. Be careful that don't fall. Yeah, you hold that one. Oh, you yeah. Okay, I'll hope put the camera down now. Oh, no. So far here. Okay, this tree is now finished also. We got one pound out of this. Yeah, that a smaller tree gave us this amount. Almost three-fourths of a pound. And Okay, not bad. First time we get a good harvest of this Shropshire down zone. And yeah. All these lovely things, we will eat them. Or making jam or making cordial. We will see. So, two, two, four, five, six. Relatively, if I add a little bit from here to there, that will be six.
Not bad for 2017. And the sun is shining in this beautiful bank holiday with the beautiful harvest. Shropshire Damson. Um, is a damson which uh, we planted two years ago, two trees. And last year we had some fruit, this year we had more. This is part of it. We have eaten most of it now. And uh, they are not very big. But uh, it does worth the wait because that comes almost as a kind of late plum. Latest plum you can have in your garden or anywhere. So let us have a taste. Oh, very sweet. Very sweet. And the flesh is almost yellowish. And that's a heavy rain, yes. And as you see the stone, it almost melts in the mouth. Mmm. Definitely, this is an Eastern plum. The taste of it. So rich. Very sweet. Very faint, pleasant bitterness. Very faint. At the end of it, which gives it almost a nice taste. Very faint. It's completely ripe. And compress it is soft. Probably I should have always it one week before. Mmm. It melts in the mouth. Definitely this damson, Shropshire damson. They say damson comes from, from the name of the Syrian capital, Damascus. Which is a beautiful place, I must say. Best fruits grows there. Traditionally Mediterranean regions are the best and those areas are the best for growing fruits oh it was so sweet I ate the whole stone also <laughs> the previous one they had in stone because I ate it a mistake yeah they must have been brought to Europe mainly France since um, the crusades When the Europeans crusaders learned a lot from the Muslims in the East. At the surface it looks like a war, but deeper it was cultural exchange. Oh, that was really good. That was awesome. One of the best plums I've ever eaten. Lovely. Sweet, slightly acidic, at the end faintly bitter, pleasant bitter. Very nice. Surprisingly lovely late plum. When all other plums are finished, Shropshire Damson shines. And they make a jam of it, they make a wine of it. Um, so it's versatile. You can make leather probably out of that. Or sauce, paste, anything you like. Okay, we had a lot of Shropshire Damson. So this is the, uh, what I've done. I've measured about uh, 1.2 kilos of it. Then uh, I washed it and I added uh, around uh, yeah 120 grams 100 gram a milliliter of water and i boiled brought it to boil then gradually uh, putting on the lowest gas uh, after boiling and then i try to by pressing against the wall of the pot just to make the stones separate then i will remove the stones and add the same amount 1.2 kilos, 1.1.2 kilo of the jam of the um, Shropshire Damson prune, and then I will add 1.2 kilogram of sugar also. Uh, you can use a, a non-bleached uh, 
brown sugar, cane sugar, or just use normal white one which is bleached. And they just make it white by bleaching. So you can use any any of them. The color, look at the colors, how beautiful it is. And this can be at this stage you can use it for making leather. You can uh, you know I've not added sugar yet, so you can make a leather uh, from it, foot leather, spread in a tray and let it dry. Or you can make a what they call it plum cheese or damson cheese. That's a very dense, thick uh, kind of marmalade thingy. Or after all the sugar added and all the stones removed, you can just extract the juice of it. The juice of it will be a syrup, and uh, whatever remains, the pulp will be the conserve or preserve. Preserve actually, yeah. And you can use it in this way. So this is what we are doing now. What a beautiful red color. I'll show you something. The damson, the skin of it is this color, bluish red probably. The flesh of it, oh, so delicious. The flesh of it is yellow. But this red color, I think it comes from the skin. Mmm. Anyway, I'll show you the recipe, how to make this. Can I stop the video any moment just to look at the recipe? And because it's a damsel and plums, they have pectin enough in, in them. You don't need actually adding any pectin. Pectin you kind of thicken it. Or if you want, you can buy sugar with the added pectin, or you can just buy pectin add to the. Or you can use things like gooseberry or blackcurrant. Gooseberry, like apple or anything that they have packed in naturally packed, you can add it to this. They call the juice of the the sherbet syrup you make from the Shropshire Nanzum, the philosophers, the philosophers syrup. It means it's such a such a high quality syrup if you make uh, extracted juice. I mean, well, we can see it. Uh, you can throw a flan flannel or a Muslim, just re uh, remove the juice and use the juice separately and keep the pulp as a for the preserve and jam. Now I've added the sugar 1.2 kilos, remove the stones before adding the sugar and uh, dissolve it, remove it from the heat, dissolve the sugar and now put it back on the heat. I bring it to the boil, then uh, leave it for 10 minutes. And uh, I will also stir it at the same time just to make sure that it will not burn. And then after that, I can uh, um, remove the scum pot and seal. By the way, the name of the book that is the recipe from is How to Store Your Own Your Homegrown Produce by John and Val Harrison. Okay, I've now brought it to boil, and uh, okay, it's uh, um, it has a good amount of syrup, so I want to separate the syrup and make a preserve separate from the what doesn't pass through the sieve, and we use a sieve for separation of syrup from the pulp, and whatever passes through the sieve, I will use it as a syrup. And you see the froth. Usually they say to you boil it until that uh, it gets thick. And you may burn it that way actually. <laughs> so I don't want to do it. I need syrup. So I want to have syrup separately. So when I come home I can make a cordial syrup kind of thingy. Add some ice to a glass of water, add the, some of it, uh, some of the syrup to the glass, glass of water and ice, and just stir it and enjoy. This is the best natural drink you can have. And it's made of Shropshire Damsel.
Okay, now with the ladle, I'm separating the syrup from the dense part of it. And what is remaining on top will be our preserve or jam. And the syrup will gather under it. That will be our syrup or cordial. So, if we continue like that. As you see, I'm separating them when the, uh, the syrup, the jam, is yet hot. So the cordial is gathering under it and the preserve or jam is on in here and when they cool they get dense and it's a little bit more uh, viscous so at the moment is the best time. Okay I'm um, now near the end of this we have this amount of jam this amount of syrup and I have separated some of it for tasting I tasted it I tell you this is the best jam I've ever eaten <laughs> That's Oh god, these shop bought jams, they add a lot of vinegar to it and just citric acid. But look at it. Mm, divine! <laughs> the best jam! Shop share jams and prune. Mm. Ah. And it's hot yet. <laughs> when it gets cool, it's, it will be amazing. <laughs> I wanted to go to shop share and buy the jams and season. I made it myself from allotment. What is Ah, oh, I have leaked that. Finish the plate. <laughs> so, so beautiful. It's sweet. It has that fruity, slightly fruity acidness. Not acid, I cannot describe it. That fruity taste. That plummy taste. That damsony taste of the Shropshire damsel. It's such a good thing. From the main pot, I've separated the syrup and the preserve or jam. Uh, it took less than one hour. The biggest part of it, half an hour, was just removing the stones. And I may do something with these stones. They're too nice to be left on their own. And uh, you can make a paste actually. Out of it. Just uh, uh, put it in a plastic, gradually suck it from that little plastic. Uh, one corner of it. Just it's, It doesn't have any sugar, it's just natural fruit. Uh, kids like that actually. <laughs> And uh, this is lovely. This is the best jam ever. And this syrup <laughs> makes me proud looking at it. And okay, I have to go and now wash before that. I will just leak all of this. It took less than one hour. All of this. With the fruit which was harvested about 10 days ago. And you can see how it looks. I have kept one punnet of the Shropshire Damson jam. Uh, Shropshire Damson prune. Just to eat it fresh. And you hear that people say, oh, measure this temperature, measure that, pectin, all this. I never bothered with that. Just get sure that it doesn't burn. My mom always used to do like this. Make sure it doesn't burn. That's it. Your, your syrup will be ready and your jam or preserve will be ready and the rest of it you can just put ready to. Just make sure it doesn't burn. That's okay. It. No. Cordial and jams are ready. I will go for a test drive of the cordial. That's a few ice. Okay, I'm going to taste it.
Ah, design. <laughs> Divine, I should say. <laughs> Why? That's beautiful. They call it the philosopher of the syrups. So true. <laughs> Now we are using our own structured Amazon jam with the scone that we have baked ourselves and uh, now the structured Amazon jam be on this. I want two scones with my tea. Oh, look at that. Structured Amazon. The best jam ever. That's a preserve full of fruit. Beautiful, so dense, full of food. If you, even if you buy it commercially, they will not make it that dense because they're stingy, they don't want to give you much food. <laughs> there is one and a half, 1.2 kilos of damson in this, <laughs> and 1.2 kilo of sugar, also with some water, which is most of it out there. Get uh, yeah. Such a good quality. Homemade hands on with homemade. Mm -hmm.